Community Methane Model, a North Carolina case study in Brazil utilizing methane gas from landfills to power communities. Landfills are the largest anthropogenic cause of methane emissions, methane being 23 times more potent than CO2 as greenhouse gas. You can take the organic matter from municipal solid waste and decompose it and produce energy with it. Some of the uses for this energy include heat production, electricity generation, and cogeneration. Here's a list of other uses of LFG. Though landfills are tucked away, they're never quite safe, and there is always a community living just outside the periphery. Here is a picture of a school near Maracanao landfill in Brazil. Landfill gas is composed of 50 to 60 percent methane, and instead of destroying it or releasing it into the atmosphere, it can be used. Appalachian State University in Bear, North Carolina is looking to partner with other universities in Brazil to solve our energy issues. Appalachian State University Energy Center is focused on renewable energy policy and research. In Brazil, there are many social agencies dedicated to improving the lives of the people there. The ASU Energy Center has a landfill gas utilization program which focuses on small to medium sized landfills and every community's need for the gas. So we must answer the question, how can the gas be used to benefit the surrounding community? This is a picture of a favela, a poor Brazilian neighborhood. Boots on the ground in Brazil include the president of the Catadores Association, the Waste Pickers Associations, and local and state offices. In North Carolina, Energy Exchange solved its community needs by providing a business incubator to local artists. Methane gas from the decomposing trash powers ovens for glass blowers, pottery kiln, supplies radiant heat for the studios and greenhouses. It is estimated to save a million dollars during the 20 year life cycle of the landfill. The kilns burn at 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This uses about 60 kilowatt hours per day. The final product is unique art that has been made in an eco-friendly way. Comparisons to be drawn between North Carolina and Ciara. As you can see, there are very comparable parameters. The ASU Energy Center, under the auspices of the Methane to Markets grant, has been trying to answer these questions and working with the state agencies of Ceara in order to lift people out of poverty and create a cleaner, safer future for them. Under Methane to Markets, we can reduce global methane emissions, strengthen energy security, improve air quality, improve industrial safety, reduce emissions of greenhouse gases, provide education, poverty eradication, methane gas extraction, integration of local businesses, and involvement of stakeholders. There have been seven landfills visited so far in the state of Ceará, Brazil. In North Carolina, there are 22 operating landfill gas projects, 10 generating electricity, 12 operating for direct thermal use, and 18 collection systems. These 40 projects could replace the use of 660 million gallons of oil per year or generate over 70 megawatts of electricity, enough for 42,000 average U.S. homes. Energy per capita in Brazil is seven times less than in the U.S., so the potential is much greater. The uses for this landfill gas in North Carolina, a very agricultural state, could include sweet potato dehydration, pottery, and glass glass kilns, and others. 
possible uses for it in Seattle could include kiln fuel and processing recycled materials, processing agricultural or food products, refrigerated storage of food products, and other uses. Approximately 12,000 people in the state of Ceara are catadores or waste pickers who rely on the landfill for everyday existence. In Maracanao, one of the landfills with the greatest potential, a thousand people rely on that landfill alone. This makes Maracanao landfill a perfect starting point for implementing a community-based landfill gas model. Future projects are likely in Acuras and in the Amazon where ecological diversity is of concern. The Catadores or waste pickers are our focus and they need better jobs and improved quality of life. Plus, this can help with offsets for companies, and international groups have been vying for recognition under the clean development mechanism of the Kyoto Protocol. The Catadores today remain a largely invisible and marginalized society, despite their role in cleaning up the environment. Though local and state agencies have assisted with the infrastructure improvement of the Maracanao landfill, it's just not enough. Even the purchase of a machine that washes plastic could improve the profits by 30% for the Catadores. For more information about these projects and others, please contact Stan Sturry, Landfill Gas Program Manager, Appalachian State University Energy Center. From Pollution to Solution The energy frontier to be explored further in Ceará, Brazil.